This is our very existence. A hundred years ago, you can imagine, we've gone from pain, mourning, to the point where some generations thought, it is just a myth. My grandfather spoke of Lefem, my father spoke of Lefem, but where is it? What is this Lefem? Is this a myth? And of course we want it back. Because it brings hope. And it becomes a reality. Psychologically, spiritually, our people have never been the same. We are, we were even more so, a proud, industrious, civilized people. When you rip away the heart of world spirituality, what is left but an empty cocoon? So, of course, we want it back to be complete. <clears throat> A lot centered around the faith. From the everyday thing, like women taking their crops to the palace for blessing, communicating with our ancestors. You had the king, protection. He wants proud, hardworking, rich man. It's no longer the same. All sorts of things have been falling us as a people. All sorts of things have been falling our rulers. Who do you pray to? Why do you want it back? If somebody went away and took away the relics, for you here who are Catholics, of St. Peter in Rome, how would the Catholic Church feel? If the relics of St. Peter disappeared, how would the Catholic Church feel? And you ask us why we want it back? <laughs> of course we want it back to be whole again. That's the simplest answer I can give you. We need to be whole again. We need our young generation to believe that that hundred years old story they've been hearing is real. You can feel safe again. You can feel proud again. You can feel whole again. So we want it back. Thank you.